all of her had been to the works to be mended. Some troublesome trucks had pushed him into the turntable well. After being to the works, Oliver felt much better, but he was still worried about the cars. I'd rather not use them, he said. But the cars sang songs, rude and loud. Scruffy, their leader, led the chorus. Shut up, said Thomas. They were disgusted. Late afternoon, Oliver had his chance for revenge. He took a heave when he pulled the train. Oh, said Scruffy. The other cars were pulling back, and with Oliver going forward, there was a tug of war. That's it, said Duck. Well done, she said. Oh, said Scruffy. I'm falling apart. And that's what happened. <gasps> so the other cars. Later, they're like, we must re get revenge. Then, the next day, Percy was pulling some cars. There's some cars stuck in the main X and all they need is a good push. We'll do it right away, said Percy's driver. But what they didn't realize was, Oliver was in the, t in the mine. They did a heave, but too hard. Oh no, Sir Percy. Ha ha ha, said the cars. On, on, on. Let's beat Oliver. They went oh, further, further, and further. Then there was trouble. He got stuck. All on top of Oliver. I'll never get out, said Oliver. Oliver's no use at all, thinks he's very clever, says that he can manage us, that's the best joke ever. When he orders us about with the greatest folly, we just push him down the well. Up goes.